F this network. Holly and Malcolm Save the Globe contains mature subject matter and explicit language. The views contained herein are the views of Holly and Malcolm and are not necessarily endorsed by that of F this network. Holly and Malcolm are not medical professionals, so if you have a medical problem, we advise that you seek the help of medical professionals immediately. This podcast is for entertainment purposes, and viewer and listener discretion is advised. On with the show! Greetings and salutations, kids. This is Ollie and Malcolm Save the Globe. He's Ollie. I'm Ollie. And he's Malcolm. That's right, and we're here to save your ass. Every episode, we sit down and discuss and dissect a topic until we come to a conclusion. If you want to be a part of the conversation, you can drop us an email at Ollie and Malcolm Save the Globe at gmail.com. Send in your questions, comments, or topics. We'll read them on the next episode. And if you're more partial to making noises with your face, you can hit up speakpipe.com slash Ollie and Malcolm and leave us a voicemail. And we'll listen to that voicemail on the air. Which, by the way, we have some voicemail tonight, folks. We do, but yeah, we're we also we live to tonight because we're super controversial. So if you want to get on, we're going to get on. Come sit on with us. Um, we are going live and we have a special guest, a really special guest. She's not here yet. She's, uh, she's at work right now. We're not going to say where she works. We're gonna no, say no, no. Yeah. We're not saying where she works. not going to say her real name. We're going to use her stage name. All that good stuff. And then in the middy. All that, you know. So this is episode one. five. One. What? <laughs> We're starting <laughs> over, folks. We're starting all over again. Brand new. We're not start. This is episode one in the new podcast that we have to have. It's First episode in the new digs, people. You check out Ollie's camera. Look at the bear in the background. That's fucking killer. He killed yeah. it himself I killed with his bare myself. hands. I was on parole, so I was allowed to use the camera. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. So what's new? What's new since the last time? I think the newest thing, what did we do? What's the newest thing? This is the newest well, thing. Yeah, this is the biggest project we got here. We're going. We're moving into a new place here. We're going to be a couple of ragtag roommates. Your bachelor pad, kind of, I think. I'm slowly taking over the downtown Paris area. We are. We're doing it. We're doing We're starting the East Van Embassy. I should uh, probably apologize. Uh, we were supposed to drop an episode last week. Yeah. And I fucked it up. We had an amazing conversation about addiction. Mm-hmm. Ollie, there's just Ollie and I sitting down yeah. at his dinner table. We had a great one. We talked about addiction, recovery, and all that good shit. Fuck, we Fantastic went over conversation. An hour and yeah. We, we fucked the audio up. I fucked it. I fucked it right up, man. I had uh, two mics running at the same time, and it was back feeding, and I, the audio wasn't salvageable, so I had to turf it, man. Yeah, so but here we are. That's why I mean, this is like almost like day one for us. We're like, it's pretty rare. For me to be somewhere there's not really much hanging on the walls you know we haven't put a mop down yet like we're really literally just renovating and painting right now so this is like kind of a like an intro into the downtown compound that's right new digs the future home of the f this network which is also the home of divine inc downstairs uh 4617 lake else drive terrace bc and we're tattooing Getting ready to graduate Corey Belmont for the first day of summer. Again, I'm doing some free tattoos. That's the newest thing, really. Um, the newest, newest thing. We tried to get fishing this morning, but the river was absolutely destroyed. Blown out and kicked out. Unfishable. Unfishable. Yeah. Like, we're getting dangerously into flash flood territory now, right? Oh, yeah. Trees in the water. Yeah. 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 So, if you got trailers or vehicles down there and you're being negligent, get in your fucking vehicle and get out of there. Yeah, don't camp near the Red Bridge, man. You could lose everything. That water comes up real quick, real quick. Yeah, definitely. It's not. Don't play with the river, man. The river wins every time. Yeah. (coughs) So, how how have you been doing fishing, man? You killing it or what? Yeah, I've had the best season of my life, honestly. I caught the guys and I caught one steel hook and a leather plot in the other year. I went five for nine. Yeah. Which is amazing. I usually get one or two in a year. Catching five is unheard of. Getting nine on is unheard of. Landing over hawk is unheard of. I had a great year. Right, right on. Um, steelhead's what counts. Spring ha- salmon are just coming into the river now. I'm get. I went out to get bar fishing today. It would have been my first day bar fishing for spring salmon. Yeah. What's bar fishing for the uninitiated? So bar fishing is when you place a large weight, a pyramid weight, on a gravel or sandbar in the path of the salmon going up the stream. So you try and find a channel 
or narrowing area where the current is not slowed down to nothing, but where the, it's almost like a choke point. Right. Or up along, like on the Fraser River, they do it closer to the shore because the, t- the fish tend to use a little bit closer to the shore, you know, 8 to 10, 12 feet deep, not too deep, less current up along the, on the sandbar. And then you just plop a lure out that just spins there and it's got a little hoochie on it and a spinning glow. Nice. Just sit down, put your rod in the rod holder and hang out and talk shit and wait for the bell to go off. And it's pretty pretty chill fishing, bar fishing. That's, That's cool. probably the most relaxed kind of fishing you could do. Yeah. That's probably more my speed, I think. I don't think I don't know if I could handle being out on the boat or whatever. I don't know. I find that even just fishing from the shore and hiking and casting all day and now my shoulder and back hurts at the end of the day. Yeah. 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 Well, you pull in a lot of fish, so you pull in more fish than most people. So I catch you would be sore. <laughs> I go, I'd be I sore. I catch a few fish for sure. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Catch. I go out to catch fish. Definitely. Mm. Yeah, I caught a huge ling cod, seven inches off the world record. I caught a nice big halibut. Caught a bunch of rockfish. And, yeah, All right. did a bunch of ocean fishing a few weeks ago. It was awesome. Couldn't find any adventure buddies. I was uh, in search of an adventure buddy that day. Nobody just, it was, yeah, it's like you said, it's dangerous. It's kind of not very nice out. And I kind of go do it usually. I, I go and do it Tuesdays, usually rain or shine. And, uh, yeah, it's really what it is. Yeah. Yeah. There's nobody really at your speed, at your skill set. No, river. yeah, I don't like to go out there. and I, I feel that people slow me down. That's absolutely right. I just want to go out and do it and have a good time. You don't, you don't want to be standing there, you know, trying to explain shit to someone and helping them all that, whatever. Yeah, because the time for me is limited and I do it recreationally. And even though I, like you were saying, I, cast, uh, I fish at a professional level, I don't really want to just hang out and talk and drink beer. I don't really drink beer. I can drink beer here. I can drink beer after work. Get yeah. up early and prepare, get dressed for it. And it's it. a ritual. It's yeah, a, it's, it's a, a fucking serious thing, yeah, man. It's, there's yeah. no such thing as luck. I don't believe in that. I believe in uh, preparation, meeting opportunity, and yeah, there's a shitload of preparation, man. If you want to have a good time, you gotta have a little bit of food with you and water, and yeah. smoke and dope and cigarettes, and you know, something to start a fire, and something for a shelter if it gets miserable. Like I went fishing. Boxing Day, man, I hiked through four feet of snow to catch steelhead. Yeah. Very, very, very few people are going to do that on Boxing Day. No, that's true. <laughs> you know what I mean? A lot like, of people, oh, are, they're, they're, you know, they're fucking beat from Christmas and they just want to chill, right? Yeah. But for you, that's chilling. That is chilling, absolutely. River. That's in the river, by the river, on the ocean, on the even if it's not in the river, even if it's on the mountain in a 4 by 4 or just somewhere with my dog in the middle of fucking nowhere or with my phone not ringing is that's uh so talk talk about ocean fishing man well, how's your ocean fishing been no, your it's always impeccable yeah, yeah i you know but i don't i don't go to any fishing situation as uh, like a tourist do you know what i mean i'm not like oh please uh please take me and show me how to fish right it's like no man take me where the fish are yeah Dude, that's take me on your boat where the fish are and I'll fucking show you what's up. How does that sound? I got my own rods, I got my own reels, I got my own lures. I got, just fucking take me where they are. Show me, point on the fucking fish finder and I'll be like, all right, let's fucking hammer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All that's right. what it's like. It's always fun. I'm, I always joke around about being the guide's guide because I'm a funny guy. So uh-huh. the the guides like to hang out with me. I'm like the recreational fisher yeah. for the professional fishermen. When that's cool yeah when they're yeah. trying to decompress and just have fun and have a good time we go out fishing so it's kind of yeah it's cool all right it's super cool i like that that's cool yeah it's like a decompression for them it's relieving i have my one buddy i go out fishing and he's always got a sour sour face when i show up to, and then an hour in he's like i don't know why it's such a big deal out of there i'm like that's such a good time i want to hang out with you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, you, you you are a person that always gives off this, fu- this fucking positive vibe, this great energy, you know, and I can't, I personally, I can't help but feel refreshed after hanging out with you, you know, that's why I hang out at the shop so much, I'm like a resident shop rat. Yeah, it's good. I yeah. just try and like good vibes <laughs> moving forward, you know, I have, I use my past to reflect on my countenance currently. Yeah. Really, I do. Am I in jail? No. Am I addicted to heroin? Am I living on the street? No. Am I just smoking crack? No. Okay. Fucking 
two thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, 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 no doubt, eh? Yeah. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> no. And I even before, like, even when I was in my shitty part of my life, I was like, well, do I have clean drinking water? Yeah. Do I have shoes? Yeah. Do I have somewhere dry to sleep? Yeah. Even though I sleep on the street? Yeah. 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 I'm not in third world country. It's yeah. better than most. Our impoverished are richer than the third world country's wealthy. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like crazy, man. Be grateful. Be grateful for what you have. Yeah. Even the smallest things. The smallest things, man, are important. It's, it's important to always be grateful, even just to move. Even if you can't be grateful for the situation that you're in, move forward, man. Yeah. Be like, you know what? As soon as you get out of that and you move into something new, the positivity starts to flow. Do you know what I mean? It yeah. doesn't matter whether it's a relationship that went sideways, um, a job that you fucking hate, whatever it is. It's just taking that first step forward into a new direction. Once you start putting things in the rearview mirror, it's easy to keep a smile on your face because at least, I guess that's what being a dreamer and an influencer is, is stepping into the void. You know yeah. what I mean? Not really knowing. Like, Trevor came over the other day and I was walking down the stairs. He's like, what are you smiling about? I was like, I was like, I was just manifesting, dude. I could see the stairwell completely different than it was and the door different, different lighting and maybe a mural down the stairs. And yeah. I just see it different. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, that brings positivity and it gives me a different mindset. Do you know what I mean? I'm not, I don't, I'm not a resident of the current reality. Yeah. That's, I, I, that's the best way to explain it is that I'm living, I'm moving forward. I'm living in the future. I'm manifesting what I want because I didn't think I was going to make it here. Now I'm here and I want more. <laughs> yeah. That's the way to be. That's I like it, that. Man. That's a good philosophy. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Don't take yourself too seriously. Don't take anything seriously, really. Just try to take it as it is. Enjoy it. If it ain't enjoyable, then don't fuck with it. What's going on? I think, uh, uh-oh, what's going on? We having a problem here? Yep. Live chat. Yeah. What's that? People live chat. Oh. oh, live chat. Oh, okay. You want to monitor that for us? I, I don't like the monitoring, us bro. questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah if you've got any questions out there, get, get them ready. And if you have anything to ask us right now, because we're still waiting for Scarlett. She's uh, working hard at her new job, so... Mm -hmm. She, she's going to be here. She's going to be here. We're just letting you know right now. She's coming. We're not punking you. Does she... Uh, is that door down there going to be open for her? I think it is. Okay. I sent her a text. Okay. Tyson Morgan says that her handle has a rod. I fish with a rod because I'm most of my skin is white. Yeah. And they won't let me use a net. Right, right. <laughs> but, uh, Happy Epic Network up in here. Duff is in here. Neil is in cool. here. Cool. What up, Duff? What's up, everybody? Thank you for stopping by, and please be patient. All right, our guest is on her way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I shot it in the head. Oh yeah, one shot, one kill. That's it. What'd you shoot it with? Forty-five, seventy, guided lever action. All right. And I shot it in the Nass Valley, Dragon Lake, near Dragon Lake. Yeah. That's cool. Hey, right. Shante. Shout out to Shante. What's up? We miss you. We, we love miss you. We you too. And we're doing it. We're still doing it to it up here. That's right. Yep. So if you have any questions, any other... Quick, keep the questions coming, man. We love answering stuff, man. It doesn't matter what it is. Ask anything. We'll yeah. fucking answer that shit. I, uh, I, you know what? There's days that I definitely miss social media. That's a new thing in my life. I'm not... Yeah, man. I'm not... Uh, my lighter's done. Here you go. Um... I miss social media some days, but you know what? At the end of the day, man, it wasn't an, it wasn't, it wasn't adding to my life in any way. It was just taken away. That's yeah. it. It was taken away. It was distracting. It wasn't enhancing. It wasn't making me creative or making me want to do different things. Or it was just, yeah. it wasn't. For lack of a better analogy, like if you're sitting at a poker table and you're playing poker, you know you're only as good as the worst player at the table. So social media is like your experience on social media is only going to be as good as the worst person on your friends list, right? If there's somebody out there that's making drama, causing trouble, you're going to see it. It's going to drag you down. Yeah, but that's you a can look fucking, past that's it. That's a full-time chore. It's like, you know what I mean? I don't want to fucking monitor your life and fucking 
realize that you're saying negative shit all the time and then remove you, fuck that, man. Yeah, yeah. You don't act like that in person with me. Yeah. I don't have one person in my life that acts like that or says those things or does that kind of stuff. It's just not, it's so not real to me. You know what I mean? It's just such a, like we had an altercation in the mall the other day. Fuck, I've been here for 14 days since it happened and fucking not one fucking issue. No, nobody came to talk to me. Nobody came to take me to the side and have a fucking chat or anything. No, it was to, fu- to have fucking drama in public. You didn't. I was the first thing I said to the person. Malcolm was there. I said, do you want to go have a coffee and talk about this? The guy's like, no. And then, okay, well, then we're going to have a fucking yelling match in the mall. How's that sound? Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, then. It, at the end of the day, it was, for, for me personally, it was just a, the best decision to just step away because, you know, as, as much as uh, we like to try to avoid the negativity, sometimes it just seeps into your life and then... Uh, for me, it, it, it does affect me in such a way that I will, sometimes I will fucking fall into it, you know, and I'll be negative. Yeah. And I, I get too susceptible to that shit. And, uh, you know, and there's only so much motivational and uplifting shit you can say before you become that person that everyone gets annoyed with. Oh, there's, oh, there's so-and-so posting motivational shit again. Yeah, I don't want to be that guy either. I'd rather just live it. And if you want to fucking get a piece of it, then here we are living a positive, beautiful life and living the best we can be. Live. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, somebody's making fun of my hair. <laughs> Are you out of here? I'm going to move my car up here right now. Okay, just make sure the door is open. Yeah. yeah. I didn't fix my hair for the fucking show, so it's, we're just wilding out here. How's my hair? Should I puff it forward like a Johnny Bravo a little bit, or what? Is that yeah, get that pompadour going. Ladies love that. Ooh. Ladies love the baby llama. Maybe I'll put my hood up. I think <laughs> I'll, I'll put my hood up. And that way you don't have to look at my ugly hair. And not as much of my ugly mug. Looks like I have flowers in my hair. It's beautiful. There we go. That's better. <laughs> tuck, the, tuck the bangage back. So how do we end up here 19 years later tattooing? You know, just... What you were coming up on the big 2 old for tattooing, man. Yeah, That's a big deal. September 19th will be 20 years tattooing, man. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, that's exciting. What are you going to do? You're going to have a fucking blowout or something, you know, like uh, specials or what? Just do blowout, blowout yeah. Just yeah. blowout, do blowout tattoos all day. <laughs> just fuck my tattoos all day that day. <laughs> just do ratchet tattoos. Bury the fucking needle. Just <laughs> sucky. Just all day, just suck for one day. Sorry. I just suck because it was my 20 year anniversary. <laughs> Shante says she's got the llama babies and they're riding in Cali. Oh, cool. Tattooed in plastic. Are they, are they on your windshield still, Shante? Are they on your dash? I thought Ooh. they got stolen. Did I tell you that? For about three days, I fucking amnesia and fucking forgot I'd give them away. And I was like, someone stole my fucking tattooed babies out of the tattoo shop. <laughs> Were you just bummed out? Like, fuck yeah, I was oh. bummed. They thought someone fucking stole them and made off of them. Oh, you forgot you gave them. And that. then I was shit talking. I was like, fuck, someone stole them. Someone stole them. And then someone reminded me, like, didn't you give those to Shante and Bella? I'm like, oh, yeah, I did. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All is well again. <laughs> yeah. Cruising on the dash with baby Groot dancing in California sunshine, she said. That's the way to be. Man, nah, it's fucking 30. One of my homies was telling me it's 35 degrees down in the shoe shop right now. That's fucking crazy, man. That's crazy. I don't imagine what it's like where Shante and Duff are and Sarah. Oh, oh she's you hear here. That? You hear Our it. guest is here. Our guest is I'm here. Right you know where? I don't have to take them off. It's ghetto in here. Yeah. Welcome. 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 Lovely guest. She just we'll let her get situated and then we'll pop her in the chat. Glad, glad that everyone is here to join us. If you're just joining us now, we are doing a special live episode, Saving the Globe from Sex Work with our lovely guest, Scarlett Summer. What an amazing night. What a wild day. What a wild day. What a wild life. What a wild night. Dude, we rushed and busted our ass to get this place in the shape it's in right now. And it's yeah. fantastic in here. It's got, it's got a good atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. I'm digging it. Smoking some powdered it's gonna, donuts. It's going to be it's gonna be cold winter. I think it's going to be cold winter. Yeah? With the single pane glass windows. Oh, we got heaters. Mm-hmm. I still think we should get a bunk bed. 
just have one bunk bed in your room and you and I I'll sleep on the top bunk. There's drinks in the fridge if you want to grab them <laughs> before we mic you up and <coughs> That'll be The fun. ones in the door are the ones you said you like. I think we could fit the hot tub in here too in the corner over there. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's gotta brace it up. That's right. <coughs> All right. One hundred degrees in uh, California. Oh my wow. God. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta get it here. And then he's gonna get your phone, a message. Did she have to get soup? Yeah, yeah, you got a tripod on the table for your camera to throw it in. Yeah. Okay, sweet. And you gotta get Zoom, it's an app. I already, I think I might have it, but let me double check. I had it on my other one. Nobody let me know this beforehand. That's not the problem. <laughs> and make sure your phone is in landscape mode sideways. Okay. Porn watching mode. Kill a Cali. Yo, the, get, the, the watchers, the viewers are very stoked that you just showed up, Scarlett. We'll give them some fucking Scarlett as she sets up over here. There she is. There's our lovely guest tonight. Know. Coming to save the globe with us. It's a Zoom cloud meeting, so that's what it is? Yeah. Okay. We got our best buddy, YT Rhymes, in the house, chilling with us. Yeah. Our studio audience. Yeah, so yeah. sign up. So we don't need oh, a lot. She doesn't need to sign up. Could she just join the meeting if you give her the stuff? I do have to sign up with a whole account now. You need an account. Sign up with your email, all that good stuff. Oh, okay. That's okay. We carried a conversation. Mm -hmm. We carried go. a conversation. And they want to look at you anyway, so oh we know that. Right. <laughs> That's right. So if you, if you look closely in the corner of Scarlett's camera, you can see a picture on the wall. It's our first Kind piece. of. Yeah, maybe. Oh, it's a little out of frame right now. <laughs> there, there it is there. Oh, what is that? Oh, yeah. Shantae yeah. says, all of her don't mansplain Zoom. The gal makes her go online. Yes, there you go. true. Good one, Shante. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I took you guys. I was just talking to White Tea in the truck a while ago when you were in the hive picking up your smokables. I was just saying, like, fuck, it, it's a bad idea for me to have uh, Red Bull right now. <laughs> because I always get nerves before po <laughs> on podcast day. I'm just a bundle of nerves, man. My anxiety just I'll goes coach through the you roof. Be your coach. No. No, don't do anything I do. That's I'm the coach. Yeah, I'll lose your life, coach. Oh, I'm not sorry. <laughs> You're <Catholic>. fucking doomed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's right. You fucking <laughs> said someone's doing your life, coach. I think so. I think I already have one on here that I must use sometime in COVID. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Sometimes COVID. Yeah, we all had to get happen. used to the Zoom thing for yeah, COVID. I got it. All right, cool. So, I need you to. Yeah. I need you to email address. Okay, Scarlet Dash Summer, Scarlet plus one T. Give me, give me one on. second here. I'm making a mess of the screen here, folks. Hotter Bear donuts. with me. Okay, can I just fucking add somebody here? You can search them. Okay, I'm gonna. E go, go try. Frick. How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this without completely messing up everything? <laughs> Okay, YT's gonna text you the info. Yeah, good. yeah. He's gonna go over there and get. Yeah, get my, get my phone number over here and see if he's saying it loud, please. It wouldn't be enough this podcast without your usual problems, folks. So there you have it. Sorry, it's my fault. I don't realize. That's okay. That's Let's okay. See. We're all we're all lacking in the organization department. No, no big speak deal. Speak for yourself. <laughs> well, I'm lacking. Yeah. I'm always lacking. <laughs> Difficult time getting my shit together for times like this, and and now my bladder's full and I need to take a break here, and but I can't. Some scotch. <laughs> I just put fucking ashes in my good beer. Good. Oh, nice. Damn. That's okay. Charcoal filtered. Yeah, that's okay. good. That's like old English. Uh, no, your your hands full. <laughs> you know how I got everybody off the block tonight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tell the story, Ollie. Get story. right on the mic and tell the story. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so tonight when we came up, we had quite a quite a crew of dudes hanging out. Uh, quite a crew of dudes hanging out in front of the shop, and I got up and I got out and I said, "Help her mute the mic." I got it. Okay, you mute your mic. Um, it says always show video of the dialogue. Join with video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's why everyone's here. Exactly. Yeah. Fuck. That's 
Okay. Join my video, know. press the blue one. Okay. I know. I can read all over. <laughs> and then you're going to mute the audio. What? Stop okay. pressing buttons, you guys. I can read. <laughs> Please read. The meeting host sake. will let you in soon. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Christ. Okay. Now, do I have to find Pen. audio or cellular? No audio. Pen. No audio. Pen. Boom. You got to, oh, you got to turn your camera. I did. You got to pick it up and then there flip it. There you go. Oh, my God. Now did it work? Oh, there you go. Oh, nope. No, didn't. pick it up and straighten it and then bring it back. Yeah. Put it on like this. Like this. There we go. There you go. <laughs> wow. All right. Eston broke the tripod. So, Look out. Put your headphones on. Oh, God. Okay, this. Strap yourself in. I'm going to fuck, fuck something up. And get ready for some way. salivations. Get ready for a liftoff. Oh, God. Here we are. <laughs> Check out one, two. How's everybody doing? Here we are. Hi. <laughs> Duff said, Como estas? Como estas? <laughs> All right. Welcome, Summer. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm tired. <laughs> tired. You, you just came straight from her job to come sit down with us, and we're very grateful. Thank you very much for doing that. Yeah. This episode was a long time coming. Yeah, we actually went out for a smoke where she was working and the two older ladies that were there were like she's so we didn't know who they were talking about at first but then we knew and they were like she's so good it's so good to have her here she reminds me of and then a bunch of other stuff too but they were stoked to have you there so yeah. you should be proud of working there thank yeah. you I think you're a great Day worker so that's, that's awesome they're a good family that type of place I really like it there today it was a really good day first day for sure <laughs> yep. crushing it oh we are yeah. all so, right here we are, yeah. all situated finally. We waited a month to do this. Yeah, sorry. Uh -huh. We had to move a few things around, make some adjustments, all this and that. But hey, we pulled it together, and uh, we're very grateful for it. Right? Fuck yeah! I know. Yeah. I'm sorry, I got my dates confused. <laughs> I thought yesterday was the first. All <laughs> good. Bad. It's all good. Is it today the first? Yeah. That's Fuck, then you're not yeah, doing yeah. too bad. Showing up on time and it's good. Yeah. That's it's true. A yeah. Day, man. Yeah. So. If you're looking at the screen, uh, we can't see it. You guys can't see it, but there's a ticker on the bottom Look with our email and our our uh, speak pipe. Oh, thank you. Oh, I didn't tell my story. I was trying to tell yeah, my tell story. Yeah, tell your story. Yeah, I'll get yeah, back to your story. Sexual, though. Oh, you don't like sexual things. Sexual in nature. <laughs> sexual in nature. So we pulled up, and there's like five or six dudes out there, and I'm like, hey, what are you boys up to? Oh, nothing. They're just all drinking around. Oh, you're up to nothing? You guys looking for a good time? No. Oh. You want to come get into some gay shit with us? We're going to go upstairs and do a bunch of gay shit tonight if you want to come upstairs and hang out with us. Well, they they didn't want to hang out with me and Malcolm and Whitey anymore. There's nothing I, wrong with <laughs> Well, no, they just really want to be gay with us. Oh, okay, okay. I like guess they were going to be gay by themselves. Yeah, they they, they, they're gay. not social about oh, it. They weren't bad. socially gay. Yeah, like they are. social gay. That's, oh, I'm technically, openly, that's in the I'm, closet. I'm, I'm, I, yeah, yeah, I'm openly. You're way out of the closet. Like, I told, across the street. I told the... Whitey to unzip his pants at dinner tonight. <laughs> he turned me on so much. I was like, just trapped in the corner of the booth. Take your yeah, pants. You, you made him so fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> I was he, like, he wanted to leave. I was right like, just there. undo your pants right now. <laughs> Sounds like he shot his own in the pants. You're clearly fucked. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. 20 bucks is 20 bucks, and a hole's a hole, man. Okay, well, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Scarlett, how long have you been doing this? Since I was 18, literally my 18th birthday, May 1st of fucking whatever year that was, when I turned 18, I signed up on my free cams, <laughs> like, the day of. And since then, so I guess I'm 23 now, so it's been five years. Yeah, five years. Very cool. So, okay. so in the adult entertainment, you're like a seasoned veteran now, sort of. Yeah, I guess so. You're ready for retirement. So. Apparently. <laughs> well, it starts off like, like, I don't know, you go through like phases, I guess, right? Yeah, like I started originally doing cam work, like webcam work and stuff like that. So I went on my free cams and you got to like people tip you and interact with you and stuff like that. And then that was cool for a while. And then premium Snapchat came out and that was a new fad where everybody could subscribe to your Snapchat. So I did that. And then we went to OnlyFans. I've done my porn videos. I've done many bits, all the fun fucking places. But yeah, there's kind of different fads all the time and being in it for so long, you kind of see them come and go. <laughs> right, right. So it's like flash and pan. Like I knew somebody who did it, yeah. and I guess it didn't work out for her, so she fucking she axed it, right? Just, Fuck yeah. So it's not for, it's not for, if you're not a grinder, like oh, if you fuck can't no. fucking grind. I've been waiting my whole life to have somebody sexually exploit me. It's just not happening. 
Of course you have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. He's like, eh, <laughs> Cassie. Anybody. <laughs> well, any, you, this is the call to our fans. If you, if I have any OnlyFans out there and you want to exploit me sexually for money, just come see me in real life. I don't have social media. I'm so just couch. come take me out for coffee and fucking do whatever. OnlyFans. 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 Oh, my gosh. God. But yeah, no, you definitely got to be somebody who like commits to it and you work hard because it's so, even me, like, fuck, I'm a lazy bitch this month. But you're self-employed, right? We've talked yeah. for a long time. Yeah. Me and you have been friends for a very long time. Since she was 18, she started getting tattooed by yep. me. And uh, yeah, man, I, I'm probably, I don't know how many people along the way have told you how proud they are of you and how hard you work. And I see you out there working and doing your very best. And I look at you as a young entrepreneur. I don't look at it, you know, I've been... Um, heavily involved and tied into the sex work industry my whole life because my tattoo shops have always been in nefarious neighborhoods. Um, I've frequented strip clubs, do you know? Like yeah. just, this is just, they, they, they're, count, they're cohorts, counterparts. Strippers and tattoo artists are cohorts. They always have been. We have the same kind of gypsy, you know, big income, you know, not a very small circle, very tight circle and high like attrition of people in your lives because it's clients usually and it's yeah. just like you know how many people do you see and interact with every day as a dancer or even yeah. as a cam girl right well even yeah like i have my how many messages you got to answer in a day fuck man i literally have people that i talk to every single day that like i i care about they send me pictures of their kids they send me like their food that they're having for the day crazy they, like, tell, like they i have people that have like camp stuff like this and their yeah. houses that i've signed or stuff like that like it's crazy you build friendships there's people that have been subscribed for like four years now and they're like holy fuck i've seen you be through like go through so much stuff they've seen you get the boob job they've seen all of it so it's kind of cool a lot of people have seen me flourish with the industry too right but that's about that's what we talk about as a crew it's about longevity it's that yeah. it didn't always it wasn't always that way oh fuck no so for me, <laughs> tattooing for me wasn't uh, some big you know income or i was making all this money and i had the things i wanted it was never like that it's only been lucrative for maybe the last uh 10 years and you know on september 19th i've been doing it 20 years so half the time i've been doing it i've been successful yeah so it's about longevity it's about sticking with it working hard doing it every day treating it like it's a job and that's how you get paid for doing something Closer to it. No, just put it in my face. We're good. <laughs> just put it in there my face. We're yeah. good. Don't oh. let the porn star here. Come on. <laughs> put, it, put it in my face. We're good. Fuck. Okay, so what can you say about your fan base as far as like interactions with them? Okay, like how I interact with them. Like, yeah. I, okay, so um, depending on, I don't want to be rude, but depending on how much people are paying me because my time is worth a little bit of money at this point because there's just so many people that are trying to talk to me all the fucking time that aren't paying or kind of just fall for free. Like I will always have time for people who just support me. Like I'll always respond to every single person who like comments on my photos, messages me like that isn't paying for something if you're like just replying to a Snapchat. But then when it comes to actual stuff, like people who are paying for higher portion packages or like tipping and acting like big subscribers, I have, I build, like I feel a lot more incentivized, I guess, to build a connection with them just because at the end of the day, I am here to make money and like, yes, I yeah. want to make friends, but it's almost like disrespectful when people come there and they're like, hey, like, so you want to get to know me? And I'm like, for fucking what? Like, <laughs> if I wanted to get to know you, I would have like added you myself, but you came here, you're reaching out to me, like you can pay for my time. And that sounds so stuck up, but at the end of the day, it's like, uh, there's only 24 hours in a day, and I, I spend all day messaging back people who aren't paying me back, then the other people who are subscribing aren't going to get the same amount of attention, so that's not fair. Right. So, I don't know. For my higher payer, like, I have people who buy, like, a daddy package or whatever, and that's, like, 200 bucks, and they get my, like, lifetime snap and things like that. Like, they get daily snaps from me every single day. I chat with them. Like, they get packages in the mail and things. As opposed to OnlyFans, like, I will send out, like, messages but it's not as personal because you're paying 50 bucks a month like yeah you, you like you, those are what you send to everybody yeah right? exactly you promo stuff to get them it's only 200 bucks a year to be your daddy yeah it's 200 dollars one time fucking payment and you don't get to be my daddy i don't fucking see you but like yeah okay. you're my dad how much is it to be your real dad I don't know. You should ask my dad. Because, you know, I'm like, oh, that's a good question. That's, I don't know. that's, that, how much that's is another. Your... That's another question, actually. Yeah. What, what, your folks, uh, how, how, do, how do they feel about it? <laughs> um. So actually, my mom is a fucking angel. She absolutely used to hate it. And my favorite thing that I always say to people is, 
She's like, I'll always support you, but when I was wiping your ass as a child, do you really think I thought it was going to be on Pornhub? And I'm like, okay, that, that, that's a valid point. <laughs> so she's always been encouraging me, but she always says that, like, there's more to me than just my sexuality. So she wants me to pursue other things, eventually, like, get into other stuff. I want to, like, open my own business, stuff like that. But my dad's, like, not in the picture. And when he is, he's like, oh, we're going to get her out of this. Like, it's such a bad. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, dude, calm right. the fuck down. My brother, I feel bad for him because he's kind of younger than me and growing up in a very, very small town. He got bullied by a lot of his buddies being like, oh, your sister Scarlet Summer. Oh, my God. Like, yeah. and so that was a little harder for him. But he moved out of town. And then <laughs> I can finally talk about this. My family uh, owns Carter's Jewelers or whatever, so they're pretty... High prestige and conservative. So a, I'm the. That's a nice jewelry store. They made my way. necklace, everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, shout but, out. Shout out to Carter. Custom and my some one of my rings. Yeah. But yeah, yeah I'm nice. I'm the black sheep. They got great jewelry. I'm just the black sheep of the family, so they're not the most fond of that because they've got such a like a high like conservative way of thinking about themselves and in the community. They're very respected. So then if you look up Carter's Jewelers and then you also have me that's popping up, it's kind of like, oh, sweet. <laughs> and he's had people come in, like um, my uncle and stuff who works there. It's like, oh, your 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 niece is Scarlet Summer and stuff. And they'll like say it and they get really embarrassed. So <laughs> I don't know. Have, man. Just own it. Oh, and that's the thing. Be in the moment, and, you know. But you know what? I went through that too because when I became a tattoo artist and I told my mom, she was like, straight up. She was, was like, I would have rather he told me he was going to be a heroin addict. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's awful, but it's true, man. Well, it that's, wasn't that's how moms, some moms could be like overbearing and kind yeah. of. Like, oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. But, uh, okay, got a question in the chat here. Okay. Solo work only? Pardon? Solo? Solo work oh, only. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> yeah. I do girl girl and I do boy girl and I do. And I'm going to try to do more like three some fourth for some content this summer and stuff like that when I'm traveling around. But yeah, I have a couple girls from around here that I film with and they're fun and stuff, some friends. I'm kind of trying to expand out. So if anybody has anybody they want to recommend and <laughs> that are women <laughs> that are not <laughs> Ollie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> rocking um, I volunteer. Yeah. Pick me. I volunteer your tribute. I, um, <laughs> I take great. one for everyone on the internet. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> fucking great. Get in line. Um, but... <laughs> Uh, like, I don't know, I'm looking around this area just more, too, for, like, girls that aren't worried about being on my page so much, because I've noticed girls around the area that are, like, starting to get an OnlyFans, and, like, this is so fun, and they're my friends, so I'll, like, reach out and be like, hey, you want to collab? Because I have a large following, and it's a really good way to make a lot of fucking money, and they'll be like, oh my god, everybody's gonna see it if it's on Scarlet's page, and it's like, well, no fucking shit, well, that's that why you... you're doing it. Yeah, is that what you want? And that's why it's yeah. so hard, and that's what I don't like about the industry, too, is it's so fucking taboo. People are like, oh, I want to do it, but I don't want anybody to find out that I'm doing it. I'm like, okay, no, and I'm say this respectfully, yeah. get the fuck out of it if you're gonna act like that, because it's like, why be embarrassed? You're allowed to have a little bit of anonymity, or anonymity, is that how you call it? Anonymity. Anonymity, thank you, okay. <laughs> Porn star, not a fucking, yeah. Anyways, um, you're allowed to be like that, and I understand not wanting your family maybe to find out, things like that, but not, like, everybody's gonna find out when you do porn. Like, your brother or your fucking parents are, right? so if you go into the with the mentality of, like, oh, I don't want people to find out, then you're already fucked. <laughs> like, there's no other way to You shouldn't it. get involved yeah. at that point. Yeah, yeah it's, I mean? it's a bad mistake. You're gonna regret it in the long run. Like, I literally, to this day, I'm like, oh, wow, somebody's gonna see my fucking coochie in 20 years on Google, like, fucking sick. Like, <laughs> it's whatever, yeah. right? But, yeah, no, I do boy-girl, girl-girl, sorry, looping it back around. <laughs> boy-girl, girl-girl, all the fun stuff. I like to kind of collab with people and make sure there's a variety of content. Collaboration, not uh, competition, is that what the saying is? Yeah, yeah. fuck yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, she yeah. told me I can't be a porn star because I have my dick tattooed, so that means that everyone will know it's my dick. I didn't say that So you if you know anyone who's got lasers... <laughs> <laughs> You're such a brat. <laughs> You're just gonna have your signature Ouch. in every single porno. You have, yeah. but it's my secret though. It's not your secret though. Yeah, it is. Right. So, <laughs> do you know what it is? No, I don't. Actually. There you go. Well, I fucking hope. More there comments from more comments from there the chat. Okay. Comments from the chat. We got Chante said, "We respect you and dig it." Yep. We applaud your confidence. Aww, that's and then she goes on to say, "The fact of the matter is, you can control the audience via settings." But if this is the choice you make, then it's there forever. Exactly. Which is true. Like yeah. th Whether or not, like if you're doing OnlyFans or even if you're just sending these nudes to somebody like oh, yeah. via text, it's out there. Oh, and this forever. is something 
Big life hack for anybody who is listening to this chick that likes to send nudes. If you're ever sending fucking nudes to a guy, literally just write their name over the fucking nude, like some part on your body, so that way if they screenshot it and it gets sent around, you literally know which dude you sent it to that's getting it sending it around. That's smartest clever. fucking life hack, dude. So if you're worried about that, and with your OnlyFans and things like that, just I don't know, putting names, like doing that kind of stuff, you're kind of accountable for when people are sharing shit around. So just a fun fact. Right. <laughs> Yeah, but if you really are into it, you want them to share it around. Yeah, but I'm talking about if you're just sending a fucking nude. But even for the OnlyFans, like, some girls are, like, they don't want their face in it. They don't, like, if they have tattoos, they blur their tattoos Well, if you start out. sending my boyfriend's nudes, I'm going to be pissed, man. I have just scared people away because I love these guys too much. Nobody, <laughs> nobody wanted to get down with us. <laughs> oh, my God. Fuck. We do mostly boy on boy on boy on boy on boy stuff. Yeah, but sometimes the boys... No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> We're starting a Twitch channel called Gamers with a Y. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> That's original. Bring your own controller. Leave your shirt at the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't touch each other's joystick fucking unless you have consent. Jesus fucking <laughs> There you oh go. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so what made you want to get into it? Um. Say Christy Mack. No. <laughs> no. Oh, fuck. I honestly, I don't know. I've always been like a super sexual person, even like, I guess I shouldn't say that in high school because that's children, but I was sexual in high school. I was always like slut shamed and stuff, always out there. And so, um, my mom and actually my, I guess, ex stepdad, fucking, they split around the time that I actually was getting into it. So I was already working two shop, jobs serving and stuff. And she was like a single mom. And to me, I was like, oh, she can afford this, but I want to do my best to like bring in more income to help her out kind of in this hard like situation. She so that, was trapping too, though, yo. I was not fucking trapping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm selling weed out of my mom's house, so we're gonna go yeah, that trapping. That's teenage trapping. <laughs> that's teenage yeah. trap life. Yeah, I and then she candy. found it. <laughs> I sold candy at school. I'd steal. I'd fill my pockets full of chocolate fucking bars. Fucking course, And then I'd fucking sell them at school. Of course. <laughs> Christ. Wow. Just day one. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, no, I just, I also, like, I liked it. My girlfriend was doing it as well, and so I was just like, fuck it, this seems, like, fun, and then... It Who's that? Like, is that your, is that one of your mentors? Um, she actually doesn't do it anymore, and also... No? I'm really? The thing is, yeah, if I'm not doing it anymore, I'm not, and also if I don't have the permission to say their names. I'm so, not and so who do you look up to? Is there people you look up to that would let you say their um, names? Um, people I looked up, well, honestly, Like, in, influencers? <laughs> influencers, there's a couple, to be completely honest. I've always been somebody who's kind of just done my own thing, but there's, like... I used to look up to, I'm sure a lot of people know who Taylor White is on Instagram. I don't know if you guys know who the fuck she is, but no. she's super fucking cool. Um, she used to do premium Snapchat, and that was one of the people that first got me into it. She's a gorgeous native girl. She's got a bunch of beautiful like native artwork tattooed on her and stuff, cool. too. Really pretty chick. And so that was somebody I always looked up to, and her like aesthetic vibe, everything was super fucking cool. And then there's just honestly, like one of my girlfriends actually, I can't shout out, is her name's Lola Tessa on all of her stuff she's fucking blown up in the last two years like i was doing stuff before her actually and then she started doing only fans after she met me and she's cool. in like the top zero point something percentile like this girl pulls like 20 grand a fucking month on sweet wow. yeah. yeah very lucrative so like for me i'm like i look up to her a lot she does coaching things like that and just that kind of stuff's taught me how to help teach other girls but mainly her and then yeah taylor white's another one but other than that like i don't know it's so hard because i find people in the industry Everyone's got their own fucking niche, so you can't really, like, base their, your, like... Well, it's a very private industry. It's not that... I think that that's not as uh, as um, mainstream, right? It's well, more, it's, it's more fucking indif- mainstream now, I'll tell well, you. Well, it's, yeah. it's, ma- it's mainstream yeah. in, its, in its publication, but I'm saying what I'm saying is production value is independent. Oh, yeah. 100%. It's like underground pornography. It's oh, yeah. independent production value. It's not... It could be high production value, but it's independent in its nature. Yeah. That's it's a, not, you're not going to a studio and no, no. working for somebody else. That's working a good for, question, Ash. That brings up a good question. Sorry. But uh, what's your setup at home? Lighting, cameras, oh, all that I wish I had stuff. a picture. Like, um, so I've got. These screens. <laughs> like I've that? got like my fucking sex dungeon. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> it's the camera is what we call it, but everybody has to get the tour when they come to the house. But I've got like my wall of dicks that's, lit- dicks that's literally got like shelves of dildos in there and stuff like that. But um, I've got two soft box lighting like things. So they set up in the corners of those big like box ones. And then I also have like my ring light that I use as well. But I just use my phones, honestly, for most of my recording. The cameras nowadays are so fucking good on yeah. them. It doesn't even matter. I have my camera that I have used in the past, but mainly yeah, it's just that I have, I have like, 
ones at home right now because they're always wow. on different things. So it's just kind of, yeah, balanced out on all that stuff. Cool. Right. I'm like, that answer question? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, like I got, yeah. Yeah. I, I got my room and my lighting at home. And then like I just take like my tripod like this. Like the wall of dicks thing. Dude, I got my wall of dicks. I got my wall with all of my whips and chains. Like, my whole entire side of my wall is, like, whips and chains and paddles and things like that and gag balls. So you're into, like, dominatrix stuff? I like... do a bunch of stuff. Like, I do all fetishes. Like, I cater to a lot of fucking you know, freaky that's, shit. <laughs> that's actually one of our topics for a future episode is fetish. Oh, fetishes, fuck yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, I carry, yeah. like, I do a lot of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, cuckold fetishes, peeing fetishes, foot stuff, all the fun stuff. Yeah, y'all can see me pee online. I love it. <laughs> there you go. There you go, people. <laughs> onlyfans.com slash summer scarlet summer xx right yeah yeah all right onlyfans.com slash scarlet summer xx yeah no i'm sorry <laughs> i was plugging that at work today too so fuck it. whoa <laughs> whoa two customers or co-workers yeah. a couple people were like oh like did you just start here i'm like yeah like this is not my first job but yeah <laughs> and they're like oh what do you do and i'm like well you can find me on the internet <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> So, no, yeah, I got and, a couple subscribers today. And sure. so is that is that something that you're, like, really comfortable with telling people? Just... Oh, I'm so fucking open about it. Like, yeah. you could literally anywhere. Pe- I, well, at this point, I get fucking recognized when I go around places. I go to Rupert. I go to Smithers. And even Vancouver, I was telling you, like, I'll yeah, go around yeah. and I'll get, girls will be like, holy fuck, you're Scarlet Summer. And I'm like, fuck, yeah, I am. Like, it's always the ladies yeah. that come up to you. And it's chicks, gush, mainly. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's always chicks. And it's See, funny. See, that's how you know I'm actually a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Of course. I'm like, I know you. <laughs> oh my I got God. your site bookmark. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Message my only fans. Oh my God. I can't. I have no words for you. Um, what the fuck were we just talking about? My stoner brain. What the fuck were we just asking? Getting recognized. Oh. We were talking about getting recognized. Yeah, but what were we saying before that? Lighting. Uh, am I high too? Well, obviously, just we're all high. Fucking Christ, I don't even fucking know. I got contact buzz. I've been hanging out with these guys all day, so I'm like, nah. Fair fuck. One of our subscribers wants to know what's the biggest dick you've ever seen. Seriously, is that just you asking? No, it's just me asking. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. The biggest dick I've ever seen. Not on a fisheye lens on a text, you know, like in person. In person. Put it in your hand. <laughs> Put it in your hand, um, so that you know that wasn't camera tricks. Yeah. You felt it. It's definitely bigger than my face. <laughs> <laughs> that was the comparison in the video, so y'all have to buy it and see. Bigger than my face. <laughs> that was the size comparison. My face is pretty. You got a little small. face though. I got a pretty like that's, that's pretty, pretty big. Pretty decent dick. Yeah. I think I'm gonna measure later. <laughs> <laughs> my face. No, I saw it on TikTok the other day and they got like a tattoo of like the measurement on the finger and I'm like that would be so funny to get a ruler on my fingers. Jimby so has that. that. Jimbo, I want to get it. I Jimbo think has like, that. You're lying. Sorry. You like, gotta get it on your arm if you're hanging out with dicks the size of your face. <laughs> just baby lips. <laughs> just, <laughs> just a dickometer right there. The four. Oh, yeah, that would just be a wicked way to finish off the sleeve just some sure. dots so that you know just each one out. of these dots is an inch do, do oh it god. do it like a like a skull like a skeleton bone with a ruler oh on the my bone. god yeah, you just know it's it's the fibonacci code it's just the fucking you look at it and you know each leaf points at one inch you're like <laughs> yeah just lying beside them and it's like <laughs> <laughs> snapchat <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, I'll take that. so duff is asking your tech setup camera etc Okay, so I mainly just use my phone that's here. That's my... What the fuck is the newest iPhone? iPhone 12. Okay, that's what I have. And then I, my camera is a Canon Rebel T6, I think, or something like that. But I rarely use it. I literally just use my camera. And, like, I have a microphone and stuff, too, that's going to... Where do I ash? Just okay. straight up cell phone, right? Yeah, mainly just my cell phone. But cell phones have fucking amazing video. I do two K yeah. pictures. Like, yeah. iPhones are great for 4K that, right? video and everything. Like I can and I can change all I do all of my editing, <clears throat> everything like I can edit clips, I can bounce them around. I have my laptop shit like that. I used to use iMovie a lot. And yeah. now I use Splice, I think is what I use for most of my editing and stuff like that for videos and shit. But no, it's way easier to do it all from my phone just because say I go to town and I don't have to pack up fucking everything with me, it's all right there. Right. So you do multicam, like, angles and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah, I'll bring that, like, yeah. And, like, I'll switch angles around and stuff like that. My next goal is I actually want to get, like, a security camera for inside my camera room. So I'll be can, your like, security film. and your camera, man. And get, like, oh, a you different person. I mean, you have a security, security camera. Right? So, have you ever used a camera person, like, 
man, I, woman. I've had people film me while I'm doing stuff and like they're are like just being there and stuff like that, but never actually had to pay for anybody to do it. Oh, uh, you wouldn't have to pay me. I would do it. <laughs> <Pull you over. laughs> I'll be your security cam. I'll be Fuck your security you and cameraman. Security oh cam God. man. <laughs> he'll, even, he'll even make shirts for it too. I won't wear my shirt though. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. Gamer. Security. Hashtag reasons. gamer. S- security reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can wear a shirt. But yeah, mainly it's just the phone and yeah, just like the lighting and stuff like that. But I have a bunch of different tripods, like smaller ones, bigger ones. But it's nice to just have the phone because say I go do public play or I go do something in my car, I don't have to set up this huge fucking thing. I can just pop my phone up somewhere and it's so, pretty simple. Uh, so we know you use either a professional camera or your cell phone. Yeah. What about mics? Boom mics? Tripod mics. Really, that's there's phone. one that I got like a USB one that I plugged in for a bit, but honestly, like I just make sure my phone's close enough that it sounds good. Right. You know, you're, you're like, not, all right. You're not doing so much talking as you know. Who there's talking, but yeah, stuff. sounds and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the ASMR, there, right? <laughs> right, right. No, that, that's, that makes <laughs> sense, right? <laughs> what's uh, that's, what's next? That's what? What's next? What do you mean? What's next? Like, what's what's your next step? Like, what's your what five year plan? Oh yeah. my five! Oh my god, that's the thing. I don't even know what my plan is for tomorrow yet. You guys, fuck me. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I've always wanted to start like or open up a sex shop, like sex toys, things like that, and kind of combine it with lingerie, because I used to work at a lingerie store before, and I love seeing people just, like, happy and shit that fits them, yeah. and that's just a good feeling, but, um, so I've always wanted to do something like that, but I want to fucking save up some money, fucking put it into some kind of business school, whether it's online marketing or stuff like that, because <laughs> I do so much already that I've had people reaching out that are older being like, dude, like, you could help us build web pages, you could help us, like, with our marketing, <laughs> stuff, I have people already paying me for promo, so if I just turn my, like, <coughs> resources into something better for myself i feel like that would be a good idea but mainly i honestly don't really have that much of a plan i don't know if i want to fucking be here i don't know if i want to right. leave kind of idea but i just i want to do what i'm doing basically like i enjoy <coughs> my job i don't have any plans i'll go with the flow with whatever the fuck's happening like yeah. if there's a different platform that comes out that's just gonna be the other thing that i have to hop on but mm. I've always wanted to kind of do this always and probably like stop. I sound stupid, but I'm like, okay, like 30 and everyone's gonna be like, oh, that's fucking old. It's yeah. not an old man at <clears throat> all, man. Like there's so much, there is a niche for absolutely every single person. And if I have subscribers that have already been here for four years, they're going to be here when I'm fucking 30. It doesn't matter. Unless they get married and have all that. You have those ones and you lose a subscriber where you're like, oh, <laughs> that's a pending snap. Oh no, <laughs> you're happy now. <laughs> oh no, my phone went low battery. Please. There we go. It's okay. We're at 20. Okay. We're good. Fuck it, I can plug it in if I need to somewhere, I'm sure. Yeah, it'd be a good idea to do that right away, sooner than later. Yeah, actually. Uh, Maybe. We got a power bar over here. Back. It's way over here, though. Okay. No. I got a cord in my purse, but a I just don't cord? have a plug in. I got my iPhone. Not a long one, it's like this long. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah, iPhones make short cords. Yeah, they're fucking. Just USB-C. Bro. That's USB-C. <laughs> it's okay. We'll, do, we'll, we'll roll as much as we can. Maybe maybe you can huddle up to Ollie on this yeah, one. Yeah, on that one after. Yeah, works. huddle up with me. Of course. He's going to be like, yeah. sit on my lap. I can come over there. No, you, I don't, no, you just sit beside each other. You don't, oh. have to, you don't have to fucking make it weird. <laughs> Coming from you. Fucking stay in your lane. <laughs> what? <laughs> so my mentor, Rocco, says to me that he goes, you know what, man? I love you. I'm like, thanks, bro. He's like, I love that you love horse. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, I was talking about summer to my mom coming on the podcast and I said yeah I said oh yeah this was coming on the podcast uh, yeah she told me your your name I'm like yeah because I really like her <laughs> who doesn't like me who who what happened here he he turned this off for a second so let's get off okay, this still yeah just... he just is going to go pee oh my god get off his dick I'm too gay to do that. Oh, look at this. Looks good. You look nice on there. Oh, do I? I'm like, yeah, I feel like do. I look like shit now. And I feel like I was sweating like a whore in church earlier. <laughs> that's that's not nothing new. It, it looks like we're a different busy. setting. Different I know setting. it's not nothing new. It's just, yeah, a different setting. Exactly. Fuck me. My feet hurt. Yeah? Yeah, man. That's a, I haven't ra- walked that much in so long. That was like, I guess, six hours of me running around like a crazy person. She's used to laying down and getting paid. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Lay <laughs> on my back till I get rich. I don't lie on my back till I get rich. I do a lot more than that, but... <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah that's uh that's not a bad philosophy no i don't know Everybody... i uh i had mentioned you to my dad when like i said i was talking to my mom and dad about what the podcast was about and sex work and cam girls and my parents aren't uh judgmental they're a really fucking cool man my mom and dad are my biggest supporters even though they weren't always my biggest supporters they are now 
And, uh, you know, my mom's not crazy about the face tattoos and the fucking obnoxious behavior and the fighting and the fucking all the other bullshit that comes along with it. But whatever. They still love me and they support me doing what I was doing. And I told my dad, I was like, uh, yeah, she's cam girl. And my mom goes, oh, like Michelle, like a cam girl? Like what pipeline company does she work for? <laughs> and I was like, no, she's a cam girl. Well, and I was like, what's saying? a cam girl? Oh, like she my. works in camp? I'm like, no, mom, cam, no pee. She, and my mom's, and my dad's like, she jerks off on the internet for money. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Fuck yeah. And my, and my dad's like, I need to get into that. I'm like, I would need to get into that too. I literally, I just gave a guy a ride home from the pub actually when we were finishing up. He was like, can I get a cab? And I'm like, dude, you're going to be waiting for fucking an hour in this town. I'm like, just get in the vehicle, I'll drive you. Because he was across the street staying at the hotel. Yeah. And the entire, way I told him what I did as we're driving back. And he's like, oh my fucking God. Like, just like losing <laughs> it. And he's like, fuck yeah. Like, this is sick. He's like, if I could do that with my body, he's like, I would do it too. And I'm yeah. like, I do that so often. And yeah. it's great. Fuck yeah. No, it was definitely a funny sure. experience. Small towns, my God. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I don't know. Yeah. I think there's a part of everybody that uh, that if they had that, uh, if they had your beauty and body and and confidence, I think that a lot of, you know, we talk about this as, as friends. We talk about this as friends that a lot of the way people treat people that are high profile or successful is out of jealousy, man. It's out of envy. Oh, yeah. Like, I try to be generous and kind and funny, and but still, that's just not good enough. You'd rather pull out the offensive parts, and, you know, I don't get that. Like, just, yeah. I'm pretty cool to hang out with. I'm funny. And, yeah, I'm obnoxious, and I'm offensive, and I don't think about what I'm saying, but I'm fucking brutally honest. I'll never lead you astray or lie to you or blow smoke up your ass. Like, you don't get hollow compliments from me or... This, this is not who I am, man. If you're fucking up, I'll tell you you're fucking up. And if you're doing good, I'll tell you you're doing good. That's the way to be. That's the way to be. It's be supportive. Don't fucking write somebody off just because they make mistakes, right? Fuck yeah. No, that's true. <clears throat> Everybody deserves a second chance. Yeah, well, yeah. most people, right? <laughs> I've been just hacking to hurts and breaking hearts over here. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, I smoke like a chimney in the heart of winter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I change. There's only one person on this planet that smokes more cigarettes than me. And that's uh, Rocco's mom. Shout out to Philomena, Rocco's mom. Oh, this is one. not happening tonight, bro. Thanks. What is it? Okay. <clears throat> my lighter's dying just like me. Oh, there's another. <laughs> oh, my God. Here. You're so helpful. Got to cover everybody. Oh, my God. I don't, I'm going <clears> to <throat> die. You're going to die. Big well, shout well, out to YT for getting my back on the audio myself. and the lighter situation. Yeah, Thank he's you. out here just helping everybody. Malcolm's trying to figure out how to move the hot tub over to the new place, everybody, just so you know. That's yeah, part of the job. Just I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get <laughs> Summer to go in the hot tub <laughs> before I bring it here. We're going to put it on the roof. I, can't, I, just, I just figured out the cheat code, though. It's about money. I just got to take money and count it out on the kitchen counter. Just six hundred right there. Six. <laughs> six. Come hang out for a couple hours. What, you would come hang out with You're me? You're lowballing. For, come hang out with me for a couple hours for six hundred bucks. Fuck, you charge more than me. Holy fuck. Honey. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Holy fuck. I thought I had a good bed package over here. <laughs> Fucking <Fuck>. sick. <laughs> Damn. Oh my God. Yeah. Fuck, she's high. She's big money girl over here. All right, high demand. High <laughs> demand. <laughs> Supply demand. Oh, yeah, that's a good question. What, uh, like, uh, special occasions, private shows, or celebrate, you know, like, after Oh, people parties. have asked me if I do stripping and stuff like that. Um, honestly, I've never, I do pole dancing and stuff. Like, I have my own pole at home and shit, but I've never done any bachelor parties. I've been asked quite a lot. The only thing for me is being around this area, it's almost, like, hard to make, like, I don't have the security for, like, being, like, well, I see you now. I fucking see you now. But like before when I had people reaching out, I wasn't just gonna be like, fuck yeah, I'll come to Rupert and I'll just strip on the boat that you guys are gonna take me to the middle of the ocean on and I'm not gonna die. It's gonna be fucking yeah. mint. And you're gonna still pay me after you draw me off, right? Like fuck. So things like that where I don't wanna be in a naive situation necessarily, but I've always considered it because I'm like, fuck, it'd be super fun. But at the same time, because it's such a small town, I really don't want to have somebody be like, oh, wow, Scarlet Summer was at my hus like, our, like, husband's fucking bachelor party. That's yeah, wicked. Yeah, and you mean, like, it's just going to end up badly on my end, And I right? think, like, at that point when you're going to start doing that, you'll need, like, a handler or some kind of protection. Right? Oh, Security. yeah. 
But you know what? I think it's good to always have professional boundaries. It's like, but I'm like, I don't get into the gang shit. I don't get into the racist shit. And I don't, you know, none of that. Yeah. I'm fucked with that. Like, you know what I mean? So it's good for you to have boundaries. It's like, yeah, I'm a cam girl. I'm on OnlyFans. I'm not a fucking hooker. Well, like, there's you know nothing I mean? wrong with being a fucking hooker. <laughs> but you know what I mean? No, you yeah. just, the way you said it, yeah. though. Yeah, but that's, you're, that's, that's, your, that's your boundaries. No, that's your boundaries. There's no, difference. There's saying. a difference between a stripper, a cam girl, a porn star, an mm. a escort. Oh, These yeah. are all sex workers. And yes, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. But there's boundaries in that, man. 100%. Yeah, that's yeah. my thing is basically just being like, at the end of the day, I can happily say to my mom, like, I'm not in danger because everybody I choose to collab with, I'm already fucking meeting in person beforehand, so we're kind of making sure of that. But two, I'm at home. Like, I work from the comfort of my home. Like, yeah, I kind of put my address up for if people want to send me shit, but I live in the fucking boonies, man. If you want to come kill me, I got my bat and stuff. Like, we can go. But, um... But we're working out a security contract after this. So you can yeah, just... I got can't. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. but what the fuck, but it's just like, I couldn't in good conscience be like, yeah, mom, or good conscience be like, yeah, mom, like it's totally fine and safe what I do. And then be like out on a fucking party with a bunch of dudes, like not having something to say and just, yeah, I don't know. I it's, agree. I'd rather be safer about it. And that's why I like what I do. Like strip, I have no, I love stripping. I feel like it'd be super cool if I lived somewhere else. I'd probably get into it. But like, that's one of the biggest but you know what? Deterrence. I think that you also, believe it or not, I think you've got the technical edge on strippers right now because they're in a market. They're trying to adapt to your market because their market's fucked up from COVID oh, yeah. and you're already on the leading yeah. edge of it. Well, and that's you've been in it. I was yeah. thinking about that a lot too because I was like, I couldn't imagine not being able to plug your OnlyFans at the fucking club. Like if you didn't put your Instagram link on your fucking poster that you sent out, nobody actually knows who the fuck you are or where you came from. So you're just a girl that came through as a strip club, right? So nobody can find you. So if you get an OnlyFans, where the fuck are all your followers going to come from? Because you're not having it like you have to build a whole different page and and i've been involved in strip clubs for a long time they take that shit serious man. Oh, you don't fucking side work nothing there's a couple you girls. get you get busted passing off hashtags or personal websites or after hours massages or whatever it is man you're fucking done yeah, right. that is your know. last day right there even if a, a manager of a strip club finds out that you handed off a business card personal business card mm -hmm. You're yeah. done, man. That's it. That's like saying, working for me downstairs and be like, hey, I could do your tattoo at your house later okay. for a hundred bucks an hour. No, I mean, I'm just checking something. Someone's making sure that I didn't die on giving that guy the ride home. Okay, so we got some voicemails. Oh. You guys want to check out some voicemails? Sure. Sure. Sorry, yeah. six six I'm not aware six of these. Voice, so, <laughs> so we were worried that we weren't going to get any voicemails because for the longest time, nobody was sending them in. And the bear here. brought them in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. That's right. Now it's all bearable. <laughs> okay, let's get to the first question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Okay, let's see if I can hook this up here. I'm a uh, half a retard with this stuff. So That's bear, bear, not bear, a bear, call. Bear. You, <laughs> you gotta watch what you fucking say with me on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's not a cool word. We've been mentally challenged. Oh, technically, yeah. mentally. Mentally, oh. technically I'm slow. retarded. I'm slow. Okay, here we oh go. First God. voicemail. Let's I'm, see if I can do this here. Okay, let's hear it. If you can make one change to OF for the betterment of the models, what would it be? And inversely, if you can make one change to OF for the betterment of the fans, what would it be? That, that's, that's the end of it. That's, That's the end of it, yeah. Right. Okay, so that was like if I could make a better change or like a change for, to OnlyFans for the models and then change for the fans. Okay, mm. so for the models, we pay 20% of our earnings out to OnlyFans every single fucking time, but they have the worst process of getting a hold of them. Like, there's a bunch of girls right now actually not trying to bad mouth OnlyFans. Sorry, people can't see this. <laughs> but um, they're waiting for like payouts right now. They're processing for two fucking weeks and everybody's emailing them being like, where is it? And you get the same fucking email every single time. Oh, sorry, we have a high volume of emails. Like we'll get back to you. It takes a fucking week. So you've been making money for this site who's getting paid out for your money. They take that income right away. And then now you're waiting around for two fucking weeks. Like one time I fucked up with putting my payment number, like my routing number or something like that because I changed my banking info. I fucked it up and I let them know like right away to like stop it and they didn't stop the payment. It took two fucking months for me to get three grand from them. And the thing is like it's not a big deal to me because I have my income regardless but to somebody who is like paying for their groceries off their OnlyFans. It's a really fucked way to handle it. I remember one year, it was Christmas time and a bunch of models were like, it was 
three weeks before and everybody pulled out their payouts and people were not even like able to get like Christmas presents for their kids and shit like that because they were fucking around with payments so bad. So that's the biggest thing is their cus like their support system for the models. There's nothing. You you get more like more what the fuck is the word? I don't know. They'll respond to you back like more on Twitter and things like that than actually like replying to their support stuff. And then for the fans, I just feel like they're not really that great at notifying them about content, things like that for one, but two, I feel like there's a lot of overcharges and weird charges that they have on the site and they're not very like, it's mainly the technical shit that comes with them. They're like, I find they made a site and they got paid for it and they're like, oh, we don't really need to tweak anything anymore. It runs and everybody's like, well, fuck man, it's huge now. Like you're making so, and like me, if I have a referral link, like I have another girl sign up to the site and I'll take five, what OnlyFans does is they make 20% off them and then I get 5% of that. 20% from them because they're paying me for getting them on the site until their first million or for I think the first year or something like that But you should do something you should get me on there. I'm worth 5% <laughs> Fuck, I can make 5% look I can make 5% look good Fuck Yeah, well and that's the thing is that that's where it gives you the incentive because honestly It's so fucking annoying when every single girl and their dog is like how do I make money like you do? And it's like hey, dude I'm sorry but when I started this like I didn't have a single fucking person to ask I went on Google and I figured it the fuck out and if you're not gonna be proactive active enough to do that you're probably not going to be able to be independent in this like industry but just be honest do your tattoos help you oh my tattoos help me yes but my boobs help me also my personality i like your little boobs too though too. Everybody... bubbling personality yeah, yeah. you gotta be all those Shit. things right Fuck. To, well to that's really... the thing well everybody's got their own niche too right like there's certain girls that i look at that i follow and they're the stuck up part of my language but kind that nobody like they're that chick in high school that would have fucking like not even talked to you right and you're subscribing to her because she's gorgeous she's gonna treat you like a fucking asshole whatever she's not even gonna <laughs> respond to you and then there's girls like me where I'm a fucking dork like you'll get a fucking snap of me being an absolute idiot like well naked yes but I'll be fucking falling over or doing something stupider I post my bloopers where I'm fucking whipping myself in the coochie accidentally or something like that and I'm sitting there being like oh fuck and everyone's like oh yeah you're Don't a real watch person this, Dad. fucking Christ sorry <laughs> I'm a fucking whip my balls for money is that what we're into over well, here uh, you'd be surprised <laughs> is, that, um, is that what we're calling bloopers he's like i'll just fucking do that. <laughs> give me a hundred bucks but yeah <laughs> like there's there's different shit like different people have their shit they post i'm a very real fucking person and i think that's what a lot of my subscribers like is that i'm straight up and i'm myself and not just like trying to be some pretty bitch on the internet because there's so much more to that like it's nice to have a conversation with someone instead of just see them naked. And there's something that sets you apart from them, right? It's uh, something oh, new, yeah. something different. Well, and everybody's got their own thing too, right? Like, so I'm not the only girl that fucking chats or is goofy, but everybody, act, when you show your personality, then you are standing up from everybody else as opposed to just another clone-ass chick that's doing the same thing. Right. True, true. All right, voicemail. Here we go. Okay. Bring it. Have you ever met someone in real life from one of your sites have you ever wanted to meet somebody in real life? And maybe a better question, is that something that you offer? Uh, maybe meeting up with them. Um, maybe a better question is, have you ever ended up having a conversation with somebody um, from one of your sites? And if so, has it ended up in, I guess, a conversation that's deeper than just kind of sex work? Okay. That's it. Do I count? <laughs> <laughs> okay well i guess that's fun um but honestly i've met so many people from my sites things like that i've met them in person just like fucking around and stuff like that just walking on the street and someone's like oh my god i subscribed to your stuff holy fuck or i've had certain people like subscribers that i have built like a connection with like there are people that I've filmed with that are my subscribers. Like, I'm not quiet about that. But the thing is, I have to actually, like, it's like texting anybody else. Like, people can have their own persona at the end of the day if I don't, like, I have to get to know them to suss them out. But I will build a relationship with some of my subscribers. I'm like, hey, sweet, you got a nice fucking dick. Wicked, that would look cool on camera. Mint. Whoa. And they're like, fuck yeah. And so it's like, <laughs> it goes hand in hand. So obviously, there's been certain subscribers that I met up with in that kind of extent. But I don't, like, I don't offer it as a service. I'm not like, oh, if you subscribe, like, you'll get the chance to maybe meet me. But I've definitely, I don't know, met subscribers in person, been recognized by them in person, and I don't know, I like it. <laughs> it's fun to kind of, I've had certain couples and things like that too be like, oh, you're kind of what made our like relationship more fun because we look at your stuff and this, it's a compliment and I enjoy it. 
and I don't know, meeting people like I like to meet them as long as they're not sketchy. And that sounds stupid because anybody could act like they're not sketchy on the internet. But yeah, true. I meet people in yeah. a public setting first. I kind of like make sure I get to know people for them? a while. I'm lit already, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I'm surprised I'm functioning <laughs> still. <laughs> but yeah, no, I don't know. It's, there's a lot of subscribers that I'll be like, no, I don't fucking do meetups. Like, I'm sorry. And like, and it doesn't matter how much money you want to pay me. Like that's at the end of the day, no is no. And you need to respect that. And I stre- I will say that every single time when I some- say someone no and they're like, but I'll pay you this. And I'm like, that's not what I fucking said. I said, fucking no. I didn't say no because my price is this. Like, I Okay. Said, no. So back to the OnlyFans thing. So if that happens on OnlyFans, do you have the right as a producer of content to block that person and them asking me if I want to like if they if they've overstepped any type of boundary do you have the ability to block them after they've paid I can block them I'm pretty sure it depends like they can file something to see what's kind of gone on and OnlyFans will look into it a little bit more and they can look for a refund and sometimes you'll give them back a refund but it's like what if you just decided today like you were walking down the stairs and Jesus was standing at the bottom smoking weed (laughs) with the Virgin Mary and he was like yo what you're doing isn't cool, you man. It's such a and you just picture. had a, and you had a revelation. You're just like, okay, and then you just deleted your OnlyFans. Let's just say it. We're imaginary it. world, imaginary a religious world. awakening. Yes, a religious awakening, whatever, something, a spiritual awakening. Yeah, yeah. You be, you just have a Jimby revelation. Fuck, you get, high, school school you get high on DMT one day, and you're just like, I'm never taking my clothes off again. I'm gonna have a shower <laughs> with these clothes never on. Never nude. <laughs> never nude. Never nude. I'm such a slut. <laughs> yeah. I'm healed. <laughs> whatever. I. <laughs> That's something that's always kind of like... What happens if you delete your thing and you're like, fuck this, man. I'm not well, doing this anymore. I that, mean, I, what happens to all that? Um, well, because I have content already on my site, if I were to delete it, I don't... Like, I wouldn't... I don't think I'd delete the site. I don't know how the fuck that works. I've never even it's thought just, about deleting question. it, but... Sorry, well, if you're like, you just had an Ollie revelation. You're like, you know what? I don't want to do OnlyFans. I only want to do Reality Kings. And now I have a contract. <laughs> I have, no, I'm serious. Say you get a contract. They're like, oh. we're going to give you a million dollars a year for the next three years. Flying you to Cali. And you're just going to film porn for us. Fuck that. That yeah. shelf life is not going to last. <laughs> no? You wouldn't no. do it? Porn star shelf life is shit, man. There's no other way to put it. There's one niche for you when you get into porn, and that's it. And after you're done with it, you're used. And that most respectful thing is just you. they use and abuse that kind of thing, and they take advantage of it a lot of the time. And so many girls that are, like, high-end porn models always end up out of porn being like, man, I was so fucking disrespected. Like, it's not a fun industry at all. Right. And it's a very male-dominated industry ran by men, so it's fucking... Yeah, it's like you said too, it's a lot of men, and this is my opinion, it's my humble llama opinion, it's a lot of men throwing money around, like that's the answer. Right. It's just more money, right? It's like, <laughs> oh, look, they don't take no for an answer, they say how much. Exactly, yeah. and yeah. that, right? well, and that's the thing where girls will be like, I never thought I was going to end up at the shoot, and then it cost me this much, and they're like, oh, you're doing this, and you're like, oh, okay, I guess so, like, it, it I don't know, it's fuck, I paid me this much, but... No, I don't know. I If I were to delete my stuff, like my lifetime, I can confidently say that most people that have paid for my lifetime have already gotten their fucking worth because spending 120 bucks, 200 bucks, like, I'm sorry, like, yeah, that's, like, a lot. I would spend 120 bucks, but I have Snapchat because Snapchat and Facebook and Instagram are whack. Weird because that's how I make money. We talked about that already. <laughs> yeah. That's cool that you make your money there, but I'm just saying it's kind of, it's weird. Like, I like you as a person because mm-hmm. we're friends, and I like hanging out with you. And to me... Even if it were to take you for dinner, or go off-roading, or tattoo you, or whatever it might be, just go hang out, have ice cream. That's more worth more than that's worth more than 120 bucks to me. Social interaction, and we know that I'm a pirate like that. I don't give a fuck about what you think on Facebook, man, or how you want to act, or who you want to message, or what you want to watch. I'm not into that. Yeah. I don't care if you if you watch Pornhub, OnlyFans, Facebook, if Instagram, all that shit's the same to me. Mm-hmm. I. My friend Trevor says to me, he's like, man, you're antisocial because you don't want social media. He's fired up and do it back. It's like, hey, man, my friend Rock was the same thing. You need to fire it back up. No, no, listen, man, not interested. Uh, that's not what appeals to me. I, I long for the days of old, the 90s, where it's like social interaction. Sitting down, talking to you, yeah. talking to you, having a drink we with you. we have the microphone. Yeah. That's right. That's all right. the stuff, right? <laughs> old man yeah. bones. No, I'm in the same boat as all of you. Yeah, I'm just uh, uh, he's more like personally social and I'm like anti-social. So. She's gone. Well, I'm the last ten right. minutes. No, last ten percent. We're good. Okay, cool. All right. Well, voice mail. Plug my phone voice in. mail. One more. Six more. Yeah, we got we got a couple more here. Here we go. go. Just starting to burn my throat there. It's not true. Okay, what's the hardest part about the whole gig? Is it like not being able to have a bunch of 
cake because you have to watch your figure or is it um managing other people like if there's crazies out there what's the hardest part about doing it and is it hard balancing your private life versus your public life like I'm sure you may have a regular job or a relationship or you know if you're a mom like is all that easier said than done or is it just kind of easy all together because you've been doing it for a while that's all okay um okay so wait like the hardest part of the gig um it's definitely not about the fact that i don't need to eat anything because i i try to stress this to everybody that there's a fucking niche for anybody if i were to gain 200 pounds tomorrow like that's not gonna happen overnight but there'd still be people that are gonna be like holy fuck she's so hot i'm gonna subscribe to her like some of i honestly find curvier chicks are actually more like sought after because it's like a closet fetish which blows my fucking mind man like it's 2021 like if you like curvy chicks like whatever the fuck but guys will always subscribe to like those girls and be like oh my god if my buddies knew that i found you so hot like fuck like it's almost like uh but <laughs> yeah. they they get a lot of subscribers because it's that weird fetish not weird but seen as weird kind of fetish to other people so they like that to me body type shit like that it does not fucking matter what you do like anybody can fucking do sex work there's always gonna be somebody that finds you fucking hot right um when it comes to <laughs> like i don't know relationships like personal life and stuff like that i before it used to be hard when i was like fucking 20 and i didn't understand how like somebody was like making tagging me in a joke on facebook being like oh this girl's such a whore and i'd be like fuck them they don't even know me <laughs> now i don't give a shit um i think that's just part of the personality though like that's why i try to tell people if you're not really already like i don't give a shit if somebody sees my titties or if i like that could go around and if i could explain that to my mom and it wasn't the same circumstance you probably shouldn't get into sex work because man i was having my knees go around the school before. like literally i was in high school when i started camming and fucking like i was 18 because i was just about the end of the year and everybody's sending me pictures and they're like wow like oh my god this is you and i'm like yeah my ass looks fucking great while i'm bent over guys thank you like you have to have that kind of mentality right yeah. so i don't know to me personally the hardest part is i would say in dating in the sense that people don't take you seriously a lot of the time like a lot of guys see me as kind of like a, oh that chick fucks mint so like I get respected for a lot of shit. Now it's a little no, bit different. No, that's why I like Mills. Obviously. Well, kids. you know they fuck. Because they got kids. There you and go. they got somebody who has smaller mental capacity than me to take care of. <laughs> <laughs> Just Dude, that's this good, much man. smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Christ. But that's definitely the hardest part is like I found that dating people just didn't like, I don't want to say like humanize me, but that's the best way to put it. I wasn't seen as human. I was seen as kind of like, oh, she does this kind of shit. She's a, a sexual figure. object. Yeah. yeah. So that mainly is just like getting people to take me seriously. Same as like just around. I think it's better when you go to the cities. Like even when I got my fucking car, I was like, I do OnlyFans. And the guys were like, what? Like, oh my God. Here, when I fucking say that, if I go in the insurance, like not insurance place, but if I go to do my taxes or something, everyone's like, oh, fuck. Like, what the fuck? And you're like, all, all right. Silence. Sick. Yeah, yeah. So I used to lie for like. Two, three years, I said I did online tutoring when I was doing camming. And so whenever I deposit my checks, I like, because I knew the ladies at the bank, who knew my mom and everybody, I was like, I do online tutoring, here you go. MFC, like, it didn't say what exactly it was, but so that was something I always found I didn't get taken seriously with either. So it's more so just people's opinions, but at the end of the day, if you can just be like, fuck it, that's you being in your own, like, space and square that you don't want to get out of, you, like, that's the best way to go about it. I don't think there's really many downfalls, like, yeah. I've been through ups and downs, but it's so worth it to me in the end. It's just fun. That's right. it. Cool, cool. Voicemail. Oh. All right. Next voicemail. <clears throat> Have you ever been recognized in public by somebody who is a subscriber on one of your sites? I feel like I love you answered that. And if so, what did you do? What did they do? Did you just kind of play it cool? Did they wink at you? Or was it like, OMG, show me your boobs? I got her. <laughs> That's, I you got sort her of answered that, right? Yeah. I did sort of answer I got it, her but... to sign my penis in oh, fuck Sharpie off, in did. public. And I was like, yo, let's snap it. And you come in there and you sign it and I'll tattoo it on there later. Oh my god. No, we're putting my OnlyFans link on your dick if anything. If that's the Oh, damn. Uh, everyone's going to be like, who the, is this? You got to do the video of me actually tattooing it on there. That's the uh, only way that the content fuck me. Be extreme enough. Um, But I will say there's been a couple people that have like recognized me in public. And I think that actually I will say this out loud. It's 
the most awkward thing when someone messages me after seeing me and they're like, oh, I was behind you in line and I saw you. And I'm like, why the fuck didn't you say hi? Like, why are you messaging me now and making me be like, where are you? And it's like, I get you're shy and I understand that someone's maybe like, I don't want to be like, hey, jerk off to you. The that, guy, that guy had someone sniffing him in his sleep. Dude, I had someone take my panties <laughs> out of my fucking like bag at the lake one time. They messaged me and they're like, oh yeah, like two days later, they're like, I saw you go into the fucking, like you were wearing your bikini, so I knew you changed or whatever. And I went in your bag while you guys were in the Whoa. water. And I'm like, holy. So like I've dealt, that's the thing where it's like, being in a small town and getting noticed by people sometimes, you're like, holy fuck, I didn't realize how many that people That wasn't me, by the way. I that. didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, like, that stuff's a little weird, but, yeah, it catches me off guard when people message me after tea, and they're like, oh my god, like, I've been out with my mom, and they're like, I saw you with your mom, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm sorry, Rita, like, I'm sorry I saw you, we look like sisters, like, fuck, I can only imagine, um, and I don't know, but... Other than that, like, I actually, it's flattering to me when somebody's like, hey, I recognize you, because to me, it feels like I'm getting my name out there, and I'm doing exactly what I'm trying to do, so it's rewarding. Right, right. Yeah, cool. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right. Voicemail. Voicemail. <laughs> I now like to get your stuff out there on OnlyFans. You kind of have to advertise. So, what is the best form of advertisement? Um, do you pay, like, for Facebook ads? And have you ever come into contact with like an angry mom <laughs> or are you normally just strictly on Twitter, Instagram, all that? Like what is your social media stance? Can I say it a bit? Yeah. Okay. So for, <clears throat> pardon me, sorry. Um, for advertisement and shit, I've paid for promotion from some girls, but I honestly tell like as much as people pay for my promo because it's worth it. There's been a lot of tricks that I pay for promo from and it's not been very like beneficial. I find that, yeah, I just keep up my posting almost all the time on Instagram, Twitter. I kind of use my Facebook, but I don't because Facebook's literally fucking stupid. You can't even say men are trash on Facebook without it getting flagged anymore. In case anybody was wondering, it's hate speech. Fuck you. Wow. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> um, so that's what I mean. Like, Facebook I try to stay away from because I get flagged really easy on there. Um, but, yeah, it's something that you have to kind of be on top of more so than anything. Is like you have to... Be in groups like I'm in retweet groups which are basically girls will post drop like it'll be you get to post or send three posts into the group or whatever for every hour and you have to catch up three hours ahead, behind before you send posts I don't know if that makes sense to you guys but anyways like it's this group where girls will send all their posts in and everybody retweets them on Twitter so they're getting more and more like seeing them right like and you have to be like a certain follower kind of like our follower base, like if you have 50,000 followers and that group levels at 50,000. I'm too much of a twit to tweet to go on go. Twitter. There you fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> like that kind of stuff. So I'm in like engagement groups. I'm in retweet groups, things like that, that are, you're not paying a site for promotion. You're actually interacting with other girls. And shout out for shout outs, another really big thing that I do with other chicks. Like OnlyFans, you'll both send each other your pictures and you'll like post for two days saying, hey, go follow this other person kind of idea. That helps out, same as Instagram, stuff like that. Like, that's where people pay for the promo with bigger pages, but if you can fucking, you can find pages, like, if you have less than a thousand followers on Instagram, you can find other pages that have the same. You can be like, hey, do you want to shout each other out? And you both have 600 followers that the other one doesn't fucking have, so that means that you're going to get more every time, so it's just yeah, like, you have to be smart about that. good solid, sub, solid, independent marketing. Well, that was something that yeah. I, like, really got, like introduced to you probably two years ago I used to always do everything very solo because I did other jobs and I wasn't very immersed in the industry and then after I just quit all my other jobs and I was like fuck this like we're gonna do this there were so many yeah I've done like multi girl snapchats where we've had four girls that are selling the snapchat so we're logging in every other day to fucking make sales and everybody who like you sell it and you're the one who gets to keep your sales so you're more incentivized and stuff right there's so many different things that you can do to cross promote with other people and that's the most beneficial thing that I tell everybody is just work with other people and most people are willing like, like it's different if somebody's got like 500 followers and messages me when I've got like a heart, huge following I'm like hey, no, like, you, oh my you god can. you pee on yeah. Right. <laughs> I do a lot worse than that. Hey, honey, we got the whisk over. You, I can't believe you didn't know what that was either, and you tattooed it. You're I almost okay. bought your whisk today. Well, I'm oh not like God. that. Like I said, I'm not some creepy dude stealing your I'm, panties, making sure your OnlyFans hey, is fucking tight. It's not creepy tight. to be on my OnlyFans. I think well, it's no, tight. it's awesome. I'm a year. I got a year subscription, man. I'm yeah, exactly. Fucking, yeah, but I should do it because I support you. But you didn't you. know about the fucking figure. No, I didn't. I'm a tattoo guy. I just do it. I'm like, Jimby, 
<laughs> Fuck, like, I just what? draw on people for money, man. And like, I'm cool with uh, strippers and escorts and, you know, sex workers and cam girls and whatever, man. Whatever you do, whatever your hustle is, if you love it and you you have the charisma that you have and the joy that you have and the enthusiasm that you have, man, then do it. I'm cool with that. Yeah. Like, I, I, got a, I got uncles that got fucking act like 15-year-old fucking uh, rock stars, man. So, oh, yeah. they do. They got Peter Pan syndrome. They fucking race to alcohol-fueled dirt bikes and fucking trucks with 50-inch tires on them. And they're fucking 60 years old. These guys are fucking mental midgets. Yeah. So, like, if that's what you love and that's what you want to do, then fucking do it. I'm not going to judge you. Wise words from the Ali Lama, folks. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, voicemail. We got one more. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, go. Okay. Hi. How many different sites do you work on if you are just solely a virtual kind of gal? And which are the best? Like, which ones pay the most? Um, which ones would you recommend for those just starting out? And are there any hidden, like, stories behind it all? like hidden fees maybe or um any like sleaze balls <laughs> that are trying to scam you off of some other bullshit sites that's it okay um okay wait a second i gotta just like think of uh, i'm stoned now so i'm like oh yeah that was a lot to answer um okay what's the best paying site best paying site is i would say right now because just the fucking amount of mainstreamness it is is only fans everybody makes their fucking coin on only fans and there's a lot of money being made because i'm noticing even my percentage is getting bumped up when i'm making the same amount if not more every month that i already was and i'm still going up higher with like as opposed to dropping down where i'm supposed to be being like oh you're getting higher up like doing well on there it's fucking competitive so there's a lot of girls that are on there making a lot of fucking money there's a lot of a payoff and it's i feel like one of the most user-friendly ones to use you can make money off of tips you can make money off of content it's good for girls again who are a little bit more vanilla that don't really want to post their news necessarily on the internet without someone paying more than the 15 dollars for the thing like i have all my shit on there like it's one time fee fucking whatever but the girls do their pay-per-view and shit but there's many vids there's avn um i use frisk and there's another one that's like nfs social i think it just came out as well they're all kind of like many vids is pretty fucking big too but they take a big cut as well but the biggest, yeah, hidden fee is just all of these sites are going to... Oh, a fan centro. But um, all these sites are going to charge you a fucking money because they know... They're promoting you. Yeah, too. they're promoting you and they're doing every single fee because I run my own... Web, like, I have my own website. And that kind of shit costs a lot of fucking money to run a month. <laughs> so if you're getting all these interactions, all this kind of shit, and they're dealing with the credit card payment, all this stuff, they're going to charge you money for it. So if you can... Honestly, I recommend everybody is getting your own site almost... Because if you can pay for it yourself and find that one fee, then you can just keep like building money off of that. But I don't know if there's anything else to answer properly. <laughs> I think you answered that properly. I'm exhausted. I just want to go have sex now. <laughs> I had a fucking pee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, I guess we could wrap that up then. Oh, my God, Thank you to our guests for dropping in and schooling us on this. It's been very educational, and it sounds like the voicemailers are aspiring to give it a try okay. some of those questions well, i would say right? if you want to give me a voicemail and just talk erotic and touch yourself on the voicemail i'll judge whether i want to see your face while you do it i will not right. <laughs> <laughs> what about phone sex like did you ever... I don't do phone sex. no but no. that's crazy right like that used to be a thing oh fuck man i remember that yeah really. yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah that was that's a true. legit thing yeah, yeah. Cool. Being, a cam girl, being a cam girl is phone sex. This is the new phone. It's FaceTime phone sex. There are girls that I know that do like an ASMR vibe where they'll actually like black out and just put the camera down so it's just black and they'll do an entire show where it's just the sound. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's like back to the fucking phone sex. It's like tapping in. Right. It's like, right. yeah, it's like tapping It all goes full circle. Fuck yeah, it comes yeah. all around. You right, can do perfect. that with any video you watch. Just fucking turn the screen off, though. But people it's called just... being blind, you idiots. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> There you have it. Until next week. We'll see you next Tuesday. Right. Hold on Keep the here. fucking me... tampon in your snorkel, Wait, you losers. On. God damn it. Let me wrap this up here proper like, fucking okay? Tool. So thank you to our guests for dropping in. Thank you for YT for helping set up and with the sound and passing me a lighter to light Damage control and helping me out. Helping Ollie. 
We're very grateful for all of this, and we hope to get you back on a show in the future. Maybe not necessarily, maybe not only this one, but we got several other podcasts that I'm sure you'll fit right in on as a guest. Yeah, so. I'm always yeah. down. I'll make sure I remember the actual day. That's right. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll set it up. We'll make sure you get plenty of time, and we'll do some advertising, all that good stuff. Okay. We're, we're planning on going old school with the advertising, like putting up posters on poles outside. Yeah, that would really get people good for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my fucking god! For for our podcast, anyway, yeah. the, the other podcast they do the social media things. We're off the grid, so yeah, we don't have any promotion really. Yeah. There you go. Fuck yeah. yeah we got white yeah. team. White team promotes for us. I love Facebook. That's right. So uh, uh, if you want to send us email, you hit us up at Molly and Malcolm Save the Globe at gmail dot com. Send your questions, comments, or topics. We'll discuss it on a future episode. If you're more partial to making noises with your face. Head over to speakpipe.com slash Ollie and Malcolm. Send us a voicemail and we'll listen to it on future episodes. And stay tuned. Next week, we will come back with another episode. Our, our normal episodes aren't, uh, they're not live. No. This, this, this See, is a sometimes... special one with a guest. Yeah. We go live. And, it'll be, and it's going to be edited. That's right. Maybe not necessarily professionally, but it'll be edited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what else is there? Uh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna try to revisit addiction next yeah, week. Yeah, for sure we are. We gotta sit down and talk about that again because that was a good discussion. I fucked it all up and I wasn't even high. But <laughs> I was high as fuck. I'm always high, but I'm not addicted. There's a big difference between being high and getting addicted. That's true. That's, that's true. <laughs> all right. So thank you everybody for tuning in. Thank you for the voicemails. That was amazing. Uh, thanks for the support. Please continue to support us at our links. You can see. Scarlet's link is up on the screen. They can't see it because they're in Zoom, but I can see everything over here. And uh, until next week. Uh, don't inhale. Send money for bail. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Keep the tap on in your snorkel. See you next Tuesday. All right. It's F this. Fuck this. <laughs>